Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush, and you can see just on the right hand side, I currently have the FPS showing. There was a request by someone in uh, either the last video or the video before, they wanted to see the FPS showing just so they could sort of get a comparison to how it runs com on my system compared to there. So I thought, well, why not? We'll do that. I won't enable the FPS from my recording software, which is on the left-hand side, is where I have that one showing. You've probably seen it in the Broadacres series. Uh, I'll just have the game one because it's, le it's slightly less intrusive. It's a much smaller one on the right hand side there Let's just see did we have another worker? No, we didn't not yet. Okay, um, let's come out of there and shut down Right, so our biggest problem at the moment is we don't have very many workers we, We've hardly got any and Frank is coming Frank is on his way that huge great big conveyor belt and I wanted to be able to use that as sort of pretty much as soon as it came out. I thought that would have been really cool. We could sort of showcase the, the stuff as it's released. But I get the feeling that we're not going to be anywhere near being able to do that. I mean, I, I would like to be. I'm going to drag this one down. We're going to get everything else set into place today. And then we're going to start trying to remove some gold. And what somebody has done, what I've seen on the Facebook page was they've gone through the bulldozer and they've removed all of the overburden. They've gone through and they've just basically just bulldozed everything away and so there's a lot less stuff around. Now then, if I pull that one there, uh, shit, that might work. If, if, we, um, if we set it there, I'm currently reversing as hard as I, oh, there we go, let's, let's stop. Um, I do want to just go forward a bit there. Let's try stopping there. Um, so we might try that. We might try getting the bulldozer and just shoving some of this out the way, which means it will be a little bit close to the pay dirt, which I'm hoping would ultimately mean that we can get more money out of this place. I uh, don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to try running this plant without some of the items on here. We're going to take that one there. I'm actually just going to move this one away now. and We'll start that one like that. So I'm going to have only one sluice coming out of the trommel, and that is the one that is going into the duplex jig. The sluice there that comes out the end of the D-Rocker, I'm keeping that one in, but this one over here, this one I'm getting rid of. There doesn't seem to be any reason to have this one in here. So we're going to just stop right there, and I'm going to get some chains, not chains, um, and get the rope, and we're going to fasten that one onto there, and we're going to hopefully just drag this one back. It might work, it might not, I don't know. You're kidding me! I'm, I'm right there! Look, I'm right there! Seriously? Oh, frustrating. Right, uh, let's lower that one down and we'll put that on there. Right, let's go to this this side. I don't think that's going to work either, no. <laughs> okay, uh, we, we, we need to back up. We need to back up by that much. That's it. That's it. Just a tiny little bit. Mind you, I do, I've done that so many times in real life. You get in a chain and you're trying to put it up and it's you're like, you, you've got the chain, it's there, it's ready to go. But then what you do is you put the chain sort of in position on the tractor and you want to wrap it around the drawbar and there's not quite enough room to be able to wrap it around the drawbar and it's literally you, you've just got this tiny tiny little bit of like one more link is all you need to be able to do it and it ends up not working and it's so frustrating it really is so i have done that many times in real life this this is not the first time that such a thing has occurred to me um right let's just stop there we'll take off the um, we'll, we'll put the handbrake on rather and take that one off and you as well right let's take it off of this end and we'll dump it back into the back of the pickup we may be using that in a minute um, I'm going to leave that one running a second um, we're going to run down here so yes we are going to have that sluice out the front there we're going to leave that one in then down here we're going to have one coming out the first bit on the trommel I'm not going to put the second one in I'm just going to leave that one out completely uh, we'll put the duplex jig in we are going to put that piece in down the bottom as well and I'm hoping that this is going to be enough to be able to run the thing. It might, it might not. If this works, it means that we can get rid of a couple of the sluices and we don't actually have to have them here. So because they count as machines, we want to try to uh, limit the number that we actually got on the claim. So I'm just starting this one up and I want to back it down a little bit. This is actually backwards now. This is going backwards. So we'll run down like that and go on a little bit further. I reckon about there would be good. Let's try that. And now, if we move that one down, that's actually that's probably just fine like that. So we we'll grab this one and we can lock this one into place. I am hoping that we can, um, well, well, we'll probably get like a loader of dirt or something. Use the front loader and just get one load of dirt. 
Uh, right, which way have we got to do this? So out is away from me. So I'm going to actually want that end there. That is going to be the end that I need that one to. And then this other end over here, that one, that one is going to have to take the other end over here like that. So that will be, is that, gonna, is that the right way around? Yes, that is the right way around. That is, that is the way that it needs to go to fall when it's finished. So then the back end away, I'm going to be sort of looking at it from that way. It's got to be on that side over there, I think. Um, if I can just grab that rope. I think it's got to go on that one. I think it does. And then if I grab that one there, we can put that one over on the last one, which should go there. So that one, yes, I think that is all in the right place. So now if we run up here, we can jump back into the uh, excavator. And it should, when we lift it up, it should, in theory, spin around the right way. So that is out, facing away from me. Perfect. That is exactly what we want. So now we can move that one around. I'll tell you what, I do actually want to... I wonder if I can do it from there. I might be able to do it from there. Let me um, lift that one right up like that. And then I'm going to bring the camera over there. And then I can swing it round. Is that going to get round? Yes. Excellent. That will come over to there. And now we can start lowering it down. Now, I don't have a joystick to do this particular movement. But I can do it like that, I think. It's going to be stuck right inside that trommel. It's not going. It's not going to allow me to release it either, is it? It's going to. It's. It's not going to like this. If I lift that out. Oh no! It. It is moving out. I can bring that one over. This is the problem with this. Is you can't quite see what you want to see. I'll tell you what. Let's go on to the bucket. Can I do it on there? Ah, I can. I can sort of see it on there. If I lower that down. He's out. He's stretched out as far as he can go. And then I bring it over this way. There we go. And it's slotted into place. So I don't actually need to get the other tray in there. Um, I don't want that view. I don't want that view. And I don't want that view. That's the one that I want. Right. So I don't need to get the other um, sluice in there at all. I want the duplex jig. And I'm actually going to get that one from the other side. So we're just going to move our excavator all the way round now. Uh, this is backwards. So let me swing it round this way. We'll take the handbrake off. I'm almost out of fuel as well. I'm very conscious of the fact that we are fast running out of fuel. So let's back this one down here. And I want to reverse it that way. Like that. I'll get this one up over there so that it is ready on the side of the hill. And we can drag the duplex jig down with the pickup. It's probably going to tip it over onto its side. But at this point in time, I don't really mind. I've got this fuel bowser up here. And... I'm actually thinking that it's not in the way at all right here. I think that this is absolutely fine right where it is. So I'm going to buy some diesel. Cancel a minute. How much have we got? Uh, we got $42,000. So we should be all right for that. So we'll go up through. We will buy there. 2600 price, 129.5. Why is that saying 129.5? Is that delivery? Refuel. The fuel will be delivered at midnight. Right, that's fine. Nope, that was... It didn't actually show us what the full price was because we're now down to $22,000. However, we do have a pile of... We, well, I say pile. We do have some gold coming in, so it's, it's not all bad news at the moment. We just want to turn this truck around a minute, and then once we've done... Am I on? Yes, I am. It's, it's already switched on. Uh, I'll drag this one around here. I'm not that concerned about whether or not this thing flips upside down while we're moving it. I just want to get it over there into position so that we can... Um, drop it down into place with the excavator. So I really don't mind if it t tips over while we're doing this. I'm just going to drop that rope down a minute. Um, drop both of them and then we can grab this one again. And we take that one onto there and onto that side. And then that rope there onto this side. This is probably not going to be pretty <laughs> dragging this one around. This is probably going to be very, very bad. And... Right, yeah. I was, I was absolutely expecting it to flip over onto its side. And now the question is, can I get around there without destroying any other machinery? And will it actually do this without breaking those ropes? I don't mind that it's dragging. That makes no difference to me whatsoever. It's not going to affect us. I just need to get it over here roughly in position and then we can pick it up the right way with the excavator. And that is actually pretty close right there. So we'll stop there. And let me leap out a second and we'll take off these two ropes. If I take them off of this end first, 
Then I can take them like that and chuck them back in. What is it doing? No, go away! It's attacking me! It's physically attacking me! <laughs> oh no! We're not, uh, we're, what we're gonna have? We're gonna have to do this slightly differently to what I was actually originally planning. It'll still work. It will still work. We're we're gonna be okay with this. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Let me just move this one up here out of the way a second, so you can stop up there, and I will actually switch you off so you don't run out of fuel. I do need fuel for this one, so we may have to stop this early in order to be able to go and get fuel. But yeah, it's it's wedged itself down into the ground. That wasn't quite part of the master plan. Um, I'm on digging though, so I can do this. All I want to do is just swip that one through like that. Swip, yep, I, I'm, I'm swipping it. And swip, swip is actually a word. It's, it's, it's kind of, um, I don't know what it means. Uh, don't, don't, don't ask, don't, don't complicate matters by asking me what these words mean. Right, I've, I've kind of... <laughs> what are you doing, Frith? What are you doing? Oh dear. Um, this is not the way to treat your machinery. Let's put this one, at least it's the right way up now. We've... <laughs> Managed to, that was definitely not elegant. That really was not elegant. That was not pretty at all. Um, okay, which way round does it need to go? I don't actually remember which way round it needs to uh, That is the exit point there, uh, which means the other end is the input end. So if I'm going to do that, I need this one here. I tell you what, let's climb. Can I climb up on top of it? There's got to be a way to climb up on top of it. I need to get up on top of it and inside and like that there we go right so then i can take that rope off of there and which way around was it that's the that's the front that's the front uh if i take actually i'm going to drop the ropes down on here i'm going to hope that they're going to be okay up here we'll pick up we'll take the ropes off of the excavator in a minute there we go and one more over there there we go right so we've taken those off so that is the back there but we'll go on. There we go. That's that's the back. I've, I'm going to lose my, all my ropes now, aren't I? Um, right. So if that's let let me do the front a minute. I can probably I can probably figure out how to do the front a little bit better than I can the back. Put that one on there, and I've just lost all the ropes. Yeah, of course I have. Why wouldn't I? Um, so if I want that at the front, I want to be looking at it like this, which means that I need that side of the bucket right over there. There we go. And then I need to get my other ropes. And I'm going to have to be running all the way round to do this, aren't I? Because I've got to come all the way back up here and then jump down onto the thing. And I want the other front one to go on there and onto that one. And where's the next rope? There's one down there. If I can reach it. There we go. And can I actually reach up there? No, I can't. It's, it's not going to allow me to jump quite high enough. So we're going to have to run all the way back up around again and get this next one into place. So if I leap down over here, oh, there we go, and <laughs> left the rope up the top. Get that one onto there. Right, so that one is going on there, so it's got to be onto that one there. Same side. And where's the last rope? Oh, it's there. There. Cleverly disguised in the darkness, lurking at the bottom there. We come up over to this side and jump down here. Too far. I went, I took it too far. I, I always do this. I take things too far and then there's consequences. Um, I am curious what's going to happen with the tailings that are jumping off of that one because in old Arnold, you just got this great big heap in front of, what are you doing? You got this great big heap in front of the claim and so then we can go along, we can sort of scoop some of it up. It doesn't look like that's going to be happening here on this claim. I can't see that it's going to happen very well. And that one is supposed to go on there. I think that we have now got it all roped in correctly. So let's just run up round and take a quick look. Is this going to work? We can jump in. It's all lit up like a Christmas tree. So we pick it up. Now it should spin round to the right way for us. There we go. That's actually worked quite well. That has come out quite nicely. So I'll just move it gently over with our ex um, uh, uh, joystick. Joystick is the word I'm looking for. And that one is in place. So that is actually everything that we need to lift with this. So I can just bring that one down. And I'm going to actually get the pickup back over here so that we can take off those ropes. And then we're done with the excavator for a little while. As soon as we've got the rest of it in place, which is just the... the oh, actually, no. There is a couple more things that we're going to need to do yet. Possibly with the excavator. Um... We need the generator over, and then we're going to start getting ropes and all kinds of things like that in place. And this is going to be a little bit time-consuming. We've also got to get the water in place and stuff like that. 
I'm thinking that we've done quite a bit of setting up so far, so let's go and have a little play around with the bulldozer. We'll get that one, and we'll take off a little bit of the overburden, because we know that there is overburden now. Um, you have like a few meters on the top that aren't as good as the rest of the claim. If you go up here, we're, we're on our Nighthawk one. We want to go to the gold map up here, and are we on parcel four? There we go. So there's uh, 188. It's these over here. We've got these here. Now, if you zoom in a little bit like this, you get an average area for each of these squares. And you're looking at the depth. We've got over two meters that we need to remove on that one. That one's nearly three meters. That one's three meters as well. So we could take off a good two meters of everything. And we're not going to affect anything at all. It's, it's not going to impact us whatsoever. If we remove, yeah, two meters, it sort of starts there. So roughly two meters we want to take off, and that's going to be sort of a good place to start. And we'll start get, getting a little bit of gold, and then as we go down deeper, it's going to get more. Now, I've seen a way that somebody did this that I thought was actually really, really cool. And I thought, well, I'd like to try that. I don't know if it's going to work. I've no idea if I can make this work or not. But we will definitely try it. So we'll just pull up here out of the way. And... I can park you up there. I don't have to worry about you for a minute. Let's turn you off. Okay, job done. I'm going to bring the excavator. I'm just going to move that one a second. I'll stick it up next to the fuel tank up there. And then I can refuel it in the morning once we've got some fuel here. We'll worry about moving the generator and stuff. We'll do that in another episode. We're not going to do that today. I, 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 I've had enough of sort of shunting stuff around. We've got the basics ready. So we are, we are, we are ready with some of it. Uh, all we need to do now is get this one up and if we're also if we're removing some of the overburden if that's out the way and we don't have to concern ourselves with it then later on when we come to actually digging stuff up and making gold we should be able to get an absolute fortune out of this, this is what i'm hoping this this is my plan and we'll see if it pays off or not okay we've got this one out here as we're leaving it for the night you do actually need to leave it at full extension you do it like that full extension with the bucket curled out and what and then down as far as you can go the reason you're doing that um those of you who've been watching the series for a long time you'll already know this because i would have said it a couple of times but yes you leave it like that so as much of the rams as possible and that there doesn't seem very realistic to me i've never known an excavator that doesn't completely ex uh, retract the ram when the bucket is curling out but anyway that bit aside you leave it so as much of the rams as possible is actually re uh, fully retracted um, right up inside that area there because that's actually an oil bath it's actually filled with oil and then none of this shiny metal here is exposed to oxygen and, and water and that is where you get if you get rust spots on here those rust spots will then go through the rubber seals on the ends of the rams and they damage them and then you start getting it leaking oil and you can have oil leaking everywhere and so your rams will run out of oil so best care practice for any machine with a ram is to leave the ram as close to fully retracted as you possibly can whenever you park it up for any length of time so as we've parked it up we need to make sure that the boom is fully extended out like that with the bucket curled back that is the best position to leave your excavator in when you go to park it up and uh, we come over here to the bulldozer and let's go and clear a little bit of the top soil and the overburden i believe it's called in mining uh, i need to start this bad boy up a minute and we'll see if we can actually make a dent in this um now from what i know of from you know previously using the um the bulldozer i'll tell you what before we do that it's getting late so let me just stop that one again um it doesn't actually like shove it up anywhere in particular i think it does actually just get rid of it so we'll be able to just sort of bulldoze our way across the the claim a few times and that should help to get rid of quite a bit of the um of their overburden is and we don't have to sort of worry about it it just makes the job a little bit easier right dawn time and right workers salary 976 dollars gold gathered 2.2 ounces that sells roughly 2000 for 1200 per ounce so we've got 2400 and we spent out just under a thousand so you know essentially we're making well if you count in that little bit we're essentially making one thousand five hundred dollars per worker per day in profit so what we could really do with some more workers i really want more work with loads and loads of workers last time and now at the moment we got one we got one measly worker and he's not even that good you know, quite frankly i think he could do with a very long holiday 
Um, just not at our expense. Yeah, you, you, you get the idea. Uh, anyway, um, enough of firing our workers. We can't afford to fire anybody at the moment because we, we just don't have the, the other workers to replace him. Now, I'm sort of thinking that if we start here... Actually, you know what? I'm not thinking that if we start here. I'm thinking, actually, we want to go all the way back over this way. And I want to go down, 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 level there. So I want to go to this point right here, and this is where I'm going to take it off of. I think in the middle, though, it's a little bit high. So I'm first of all, I'm going to go back into here. We're going to go back onto our gold map over here. And that one there, 395, that is the one that has got the most gold. You look here, total gold, 164 ounces, 395, 300. Oh, okay, 420 is the one that's got the most gold on it. If you zoom in a little bit more, you can see where the real gold is and sort of get a rough idea. It gives you averages on each of the drills. And then you zoom out a little bit and you, you get it sort of on the whole square. Um, two and a half, and that is, again, it's about two and a half meters. Um, but if I go to that one and I toggle square... And then I come out. That tells me where it is, roughly. And uh, I can do that again if I go back to the gold map. And then if I go to 420, toggle square on there as well. Oh, no. I've actually just gotten... I keep pressing the wrong button. Gold map. Right. There. And toggle square. Right. That is number 420 on there. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go from this point here. Now, for the bulldozer, you lower it right down. You press F until it's all the way down. Then you release it. And it won't go down. It will go in a straight line now. Once you release F, it should just go in a dead straight line forward. Um, it's not actually going anywhere at all at the moment. Because, yeah, I don't know why. Be probably because of the, um, it's not actually on the dirt. So I need to go on there so that I'm on to actual pay dirt. And then put it down. Is that how it's going to work? And do it like that? Nope. Still doesn't like this. I need to lift that up a bit, I think. I think we're going to have to sort of go like that and lift this up. And it's it's not allowing me to push forward. It's not doing what it was doing previously. Last time I was able... I think it's because I'm on the very edge of the claim. And it doesn't like the idea of doing any of this on the very edge of the claim. Oop, I didn't actually need to climb out while I was doing this. Let's try this again. I want to lift that right up as high as it will go and we'll try that. There we go. Now I'm lifting up a bit. And then I'll push the, 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 the blade right down, and we'll see what that does. Is it not going to do like it did previously with the, with the blade? You know, when we lifted it right up, and we had it in position, it was working really, really well. We, we, were, sort of, we were making some real decent progress with that. I think it's no longer going to do that. I think we no longer have it doing that, that dead flat piece that it was doing previously. Go on. You can do this, bulldozer. I have complete faith in you. Just go forward now. Nope. It's no longer do it's no longer setting it up like it did previously. Why has it done that then? There is no known reason. Previously you just had it, you set it to that one point and then it was level. You didn't have to worry about anything else. You just set it to that point and it was level and that was it. That was all you had to do. Um and now we're stuck. I'm gonna try and go forward. I've got it lifted right up, so it should at least do something. We'll have to maybe try this another way. If I can bring it over that way. It's not going forward at all now, and it doesn't even want to go backwards either. Uh, you know, it, really, it really doesn't like what I'm doing here at all. And I'll bring it to that point there. I'm going to lower it down a little bit. But look at what it's doing. Why is it... Th it's, it's actually generating soil for me now. It's seriously actually generating soil. It's fully generating it. Uh, that's, not, that's not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to grow overburden. You're supposed to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This thing is awful now. Right, we're going to have to... We, we'll keep working at this. We are going to be able to do this. I know we're going to be able to do this. We've just got to figure out why it's... Um... <laughs> okay. That is unusual. That is definitely unusual. That is not what I was expecting. It does go backwards quite quickly. As soon as I press reverse, it was it went flying off, didn't it? And there we've got all of that extra dirt. It's, it's sort of pushing... So it, it stopped generating it from nothing now. 
I only tapped backwards just a tiny bit, and then I was pressing forward the whole of the rest of the time. It was sliding back down that slope. It really doesn't like hills, this thing, does it? It's genuinely bad on hills. So let's try lowering it down a bit more and see if that actually helps. It's, um, it's not going to do anything apart from just grow soil, is it? <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. You got you got to love it when things go horribly wrong like this. This uh, what are you doing? Seriously. I ain't, I just I just want to get the right. Okay. Okay. We we're, we're not going to mess around doing this for ages. I'm I'm going to just get fed up with this. Uh we'll go there and we will restore. Right. We've restored that one. He's up over here. I don't know what he's doing. He's dancing about dancing around a bit. So we're going to take this one all the way back down there and we're going to try and go into the middle of the claim a little bit more and we're going to... Actually, I'm going to go further back on the claim. I'm just going to experiment a little bit with the blade and I'm going to see if it still actually does that whole process that we used to do, or that we used last time. We just put the blade all the way down as far as it would go. Then you take your finger off of the button and it just goes dead level. It, it stays dead level because if they've removed that ability from it, We've then got to sort of manually do it, and you know, if you've got to manually do it with something like this bulldozer in order to get it to work properly, it essentially renders this machine completely and utterly useless. It is no good for anything if that's what you. If that's the only way that you can make it work, it is completely and utterly useless. It's not going to be able to do anything for us, and so we'll just have to get rid of it and we'll try another approach. Because um, yeah, well, you've seen what it's like back there trying to do it, just level things off. It didn't like it at all, did it? So we'll bring this one over here. We do want to go slowly-ish. Right. That, I think, is a good place to start. So if we go here, and we'll lower it right down as low as it goes, like we did there. And then you just take your hand off. This is what we used to do. And... No, it's not. It's actually now pushing it downhill. It's not letting me push at all. Why is it done that? Why has it changed? What's, what's changed? It used to just go forward. That's all you had to do. And now it's... Oh, now it's working. Nope. Let me try ramming it a bit. Let's see if that works. But no, it's, it's not self-leveling anymore. And this is something that's actually bothering me. The fact that it's not self-leveling. If it was self-leveling, we would be able to level our area off quite quickly. And also, it did kind of... We eventually managed to just kind of push our way through all of the overburden without any problem at all over an old Arnold. And that was a really glorious thing to be able to do. It just kind of shoved its way in. And... Oh, it's, it's sort of doing it. I think once we get started on this, it might work. Is that going level? I think that might actually be going level now. I think that might be level. It's not as level as it once was. But I think it's working. We, we, we've got to push sort of slowly. So you've got to inch your way forward. But it is doing it. And it's actually getting rid of the overburden as well. Which is, again, what we wanted it to do. This is exactly what we wanted it to do. So if I can do it from this way, I'm going to clear a patch here. And then we're going to see about going back the other direction. And see if it will also work going over that way as well. Because by pushing backwards and forwards, I don't know if it's kind of saving it up on the blade or something. It's doing strange things. It's definitely doing some strange things. Um, but no, it does. It seems to be going fairly straight. I think I need to take less of a bite. If we take like a just a tiny proportion of it, that might work a little bit better. If we sort of come over that way, no, now it's not taking anything at all. Doesn't like that. We can shove into there. We go. That's moving a bit. It says stop completely again. But if I go back and I go almost on the same, I'm going to turn a little tiny bit. Just into that wall. It's kind of pushing forward again. Yeah, it's, it is it is slow going, but it is doing it. And it also seems to be leveling it. It does also seem to be giving us that level surface once more. That is what we're after. Um, but yeah, once you get to this point, it's, it's stopping dead. So I think you've got you literally just got to forwards and backwards quite a lot in order to get it to, to free up. Just keep doing that. Keep working through this. I know we can do this. I know we can actually clear some of this burden off. I'm sure this bulldozer does actually have a decent use. Because, I mean, if it's literally just something for generating dirt out of nothing, 
that is yeah it becomes essentially utterly pointless to have the bulldozer at all there is no known reason to have a bulldozer that just generates dirt magically especially when it's not pay dirt we want pay dirt if we're going to be generating stuff we want pay dirt to be generated we don't want anything else you, you can keep the rest of it coming through yeah again it's just stopped and it's not doing very much if I can bring that one back over like that, we'll try spinning it round and we'll try going forward this way and we'll see if it does anything over here. Now it's it's moving a bit and it, it gets so far and then it stops. That's what it seems to be doing every time. But saying that, it does actually seem to have now settled down onto a level. I don't know how you make sure that it is going level every time, but it does seem to have sort of settled into it a little bit, which I'm going to take as a good sign. So we'll go forward again. I want to be able to push this all the way up to the other end of the claim. That's going to be the tricky bit, is getting this all the way through. Whether or not that is going to work, this is the bit that we're, we're unsure of right now. I can go through there. I can get that one in there and keep pushing. Keep pushing. You just got to keep, just keep going. So long as it's going to allow, so long as it keeps doing this, I can just keep going forward and then I'll be able to like go back and just take another little skim up the side. It seems to be working. It does actually seem to be that once you get to a certain point, um, when it gets lower down, then it stops. Nope, now it's working. It's going forward again. It slowed down a bit, but it did go. It went all the way through that area. And I'm just going to keep pushing forward. Right. Oh, no, it's, it's doing it again. Again, now it's actually slowed down to a stop. Right. So we'll back out of there, all the way back down through, and I'm going to stay, well, I've got I've got to stay pretty much as I am, and I'm going to go forward again, just like that, and we'll see if it does actually push us any further forward. It's gone forward a little bit. Gone forward again. We're making progress. We're slowly, I mean, I, I'm actually higher than the place that I want to be. I'm going to end up like adding more overburden to it rather than removing any away. But what I'm hoping is if we can get a piece started on there, we can then sort of work from there and lower it down further and further and further as we go along. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't tip off the edge. Oh, you useless, useless machine. This thing is awful. I don't like this bulldozer. It's Bulldozers are not supposed to run on like that. Seriously, they're not supposed to run on and just trot off down the hill as though there's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. Um, there's no weight on them. And now he's wedged. Now he is completely wedged. Let's keep turning. If I can twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. There we go. Right. That's a start. And I don't know where the blade is. I don't remember where I had the blade set now. This is the bit that's concerning me is I had all that work getting it lined up, and now it could be anywhere. It, uh, we, we could have lost... Every, all of our progress has now been lost. Let me get it back over there, and we'll see if it does actually sort of set again, and how it sets it. Because we can come in this side. We've got one little piece that we can go in here. So if I go up to this point here... Now, that is flat. That is flat. And then... I think you just sort of go to there because it now seems to go down lower than it used to. So if I sort of go to that point there, is that about right? Um, see, if I'm doing that, that's my main bar, but it's not... I don't know what I've got on the, the lever on the side. It's sort of telling me something, but it's not telling me very much. I don't think that is level, even though it's sort of claiming that that's level. I think that's um, something else. Is there a way... That, can you, like, move the, the other... Is there another... Um, thing on this that can move because it looks like there's another hydraulic on there. Hang on a minute. Um, Zed, show controls. Blade up, blade down, ripper up and ripper down. Yeah, so the ripper is there. We don't want the ripper. Uh, no, it's just blade up and down. There is no others. For a minute there, I thought I'd missed out something completely. So I want to lower that one down. I would say that that because that's as low as it will go all the way down there. It seems lower than it used to be. Let's try that. What's that going to do? Is my timer going off to say that we're nearly out of time? Uh, but if I back up from there, that does actually look like it's roughly the right place. That does look pretty good. And it's not allowing me to push very far into the bank, but it is allowing me to push in. I am at least able to get something going there. So if I can spin this one around a little bit, I just want to take a tiny bite out of the side there. And I want to go like that, and I want to keep pushing. I just want to keep shoving it forward like this 
and I'm hoping that, that is going to be the right level. No, it's now stopped it. Just go on forward a little bit. Right, now you've got to stop. You've got to stop. I can't have this one going too far. This is this is a tricky bit now. Because it's going to bring it out over to this new piece of overburden that we kind of materialized out of nowhere. And we've got a new level that is way too high for what I want. I don't want it up here. I <laughs> All we've done is we've just generated a load of soil out of completely nothing. <laughs> It's gone way too high. This is terrible. This isn't what we want. This is not the. Aim. This is not what we're setting out to achieve. We're trying to get rid of the overburden, not just magically generate more. This is. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Right. We bring this one over here. I think maybe the bulldozer blade needs to be dropped down a little bit. I'm not quite sure. Right. Steady. Now I don't really know. I don't think even the bulldozer blade seems to know what it's doing. It's, it's behaving in a very peculiar fashion. Let's bring this one all the way back, all the way up through here, and it's definitely uneven at the moment. There's definitely some unevenness going on. So let's lower it down a little bit more and see what that does. That might actually level it a bit more. We'll go right the way through here. Now I'm definitely deleting dirt now. As I go through there, I was definitely deleting stuff. So I can bring it back through again, and we've got another, there's a couple of little ridges on the side that if I can sort of push through, I can get some of that. And what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to get it to a point where we've gotten a level area, and then we want to lower it down a little bit and start shoving more overburden out the way. Because like there, I'm actually shoving it out the way, but I think I'm, I think I'm actually deleting it. I think it is getting rid of it. Which is kind of what we want. We do want it. We want to just shove it out the way and it'll delete it and then you don't have it there anymore. So we'll back up again and we'll go into the side of the bank that we were in. Only a little bit. You only want to take like a tiny little, um, a little slice each time. There. Like that. And that's pushing it forward and it's taking a little bit out. It's not doing very much, but it is pushing a little bit of it forward. Excellent. Now hopefully I can go back and I can clean up those two sort of little bits that are left. There's some ridges sticking up. If we can get those out, then we've we've basically we've got our starting place. This is our starting point from here. And then we want to keep working and leveling it off and um, bulldozing it out, level it off a bit more. And just keep working backwards and forwards until we've gotten down to the level that we actually want this to be at. We've also got to be very, very careful here on the end that we don't go too far. We do not want to go too far on this. I've got some tiny little bits left here in places. And of course, this is a huge earthworking machine. This is probably 15 or 20 tons worth of bulldozers. So a tiny, tiny, tiny little clod of dirt just sticking up like that is bound to be enough to completely stop it in its tracks. So that it's completely unable to move and never do anything again. Um, Let's go no further than that, no further than that, otherwise it's going to end up all going horribly wrong. And we can back up from there. Right, I think we're doing pretty well. We can, we'll take out another slice. I want to get this area a little bit wider. Before we start worrying about dropping it down further, I want to go out a bit wider. I want to take another couple of bites and I want to widen this out. As soon as you've got one piece pushed all the way through, it does actually seem to work fairly well. Um, he says as he grinds to a complete halt. It's because we're taking, we're being too greedy on it. We need to have about a quarter of the blade's width seem to be best. So if I move over this way a bit and I just take part of the blade width, there we go like that. Just a quarter of the blade's width at the most. And then we can push through and it does actually keep going. And it will allow you to keep going and it will allow you to keep pushing it. So I'm deliberately leaving a little piece there. We come back, and I'm going to take just this little bit that I tried, that I got a little bit keen on. We go, and we'll take that bit through again, like that. There we go. Now that's moving as well. It may... No, I don't think it will grind to a halt, because we've sort of reached the end of it. So it's going to push it forward, and it will allow us to just keep going a little bit more. Go on, one more. There we go. And we're almost done. We've actually almost done everything that I wanted to do on this piece. And then we can start lowering it down and we can go further and further down. We've got, to, we've got to drop this down. Because at the moment, we're not getting rid of overburden. We're just stacking it up on top of the area that we want to dig out. I'm really looking forward to getting Frank, though. The When that one does turn up. You've got that huge, great big conveyor. If we got a couple of those conveyors here on this claim, 
we could then we don't need to worry about the bulldozing or the dumper truck or anything like that you literally just spoon it into the end of the conveyor using the excavator and you don't need to do anything else at all everything is done with the excavator and the conveyor and it's all taken over we don't have any intermediaries at all i think it's absolutely fantastic i was actually talking about using conveyors like this previously and people said well you know certain types of mining you wouldn't do it in a quarry you might so i'm actually really pleased that we do have this option turning up and i'm really looking forward to being able to have play around with it i think it's going to be great fun so let's just get this a little bit here that is sticking up and causing us a few problems if we can just shove this all the way down out the way it should be nice and flat all the way through is it going to do it is it going to actually just push this piece up or is it going to leave some bits behind uh, a little bit there right at the end but i think that's all right we don't need to worry about that and then we're done so in our next episode we're going to carry on doing a little bit of this i'm hoping that we will eventually get another worker turn up because at the moment we still only got one and i could really do with another worker if we're going to be able to use frank which is the um the name of a huge great big conveyor if we're going to be able to use that we're going to need more workers generating more gold in order to be able to buy it and at the moment we don't have that money look at the run on on that bulldozer i really struggled to stop that one in time i'm glad i did i am glad i did but i did struggle to stop him in time so we'll bring that one over yeah so we'll do that next time we'll get this level down a little bit more fuel is low oh um yeah we do need to go and fill the fuel up again we'll do that in a minute uh well we'll do that at the beginning of next episode i think um but anyway that's all i got time for today so if you enjoyed the episode then please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later